Hey guys, so it's leg day, Tuesday leg day, so hopefully you're going to train alongside us today. I'm going to take Emma through this session. It's going to be eight exercises and we're going to use a mixture of equipment. Nothing too fancy, we've got bands, dumbbells, a stick, which is it's a plastic broom stick from uh, a brush, and a foam roller. Body weight and that's it. Okay. Try and improvise if you don't have the exact kit that we've got. I'll try and shout out some ideas to you as we're going. Go make sure you're warmed up. If you're not, pause it now, warm up, and then come back. Okay? We're going to do the first two exercises. And I'll demonstrate as we're going. Okay? So, I'll do a couple of demos, and I'm going to take Emma through, through the session. Okay, guys? So, first up, I'm going to do a heel elevated. If you don't have a heel elevation, just be a plank of wood or a book, you just go flat on the floor. Okay? You're going to have a dumbbell at a chest and she's going to squat down to a tempo of three seconds down, three, two, one, one second at the bottom, and then one second up. Okay? We're going to use that tempo a lot. Three seconds on the eccentric, one second hold at the hardest point, one second on the concentric. Alright, so try and remember that we're not using the clock. Just going to try and work at the same speed as us. The second exercise is going to be a banded deadlift. You've got two options. You can use your band, hands through, grip it like that, okay? Pop it on the floor, both feet on the middle, and then you just go a little bit wider and set up as you would if you were doing deadlift. Hold that position. I'm using a hoop grip with my fingers over my thumb. This keeps it a bit tighter. Shoulders back and down, drive up, squeeze at the top. Three, two, one, lift and hold. Three, two, one, lift and hold. However, there is a better way. You might find that that hurts the thumbs with the slightly thicker bands. Then I'll pass it me the broom. Okay? We're going to stick the, the broom in through there, and out through there, and then create a bar. A bar. Okay? There, same position, drive up, squeeze the top, three, two, one. Let's hold, three, two, one. Okay, so those are the first two exercises. So we're going to get started. Goblet squats are first, and we're working for 12 repetitions. Okay, so guys, grab your weight. Get into position, work to this tempo. Ready? Let's go. We go three, two, hold at the bottom, and then push. As you're squatting down, you want to be thinking about pulling through the hamstrings, pulling from the back of the leg, pulling yourself down into that bottom position. Make sure you pause at the bottom, hold, and then you push through your feet. All right, so you're always trying to recruit muscles. You're not just going through the motion. Okay, good Emma. With the heel elevation, you'll be taller as well, right? So you'll not be leaning forward as much. You'll feel it more here and here. I think this is eight, am I right? Good, we've got four more. Nice straight line, pull it down, hold, and then push through the feet. Last three. It's really important you stick to that tempo, guys, okay? Two more. You're going to make the weight feel a little bit heavier if you do that. Last one. Rest. Good. Okay. So Emma's going to go straight into the banded deadlift. I'm going to give her the broomstick. Make sure it's something that is obviously not going to break. Okay, she's going to grip just outside the band. Come down into our deadlift position, shoulders back and down, drive up, squeeze the bottom at the top, and down for three, two, one. Bend the knees once you get past the knees, and then drive up. So you don't want to do an RDL. You want to make it a conventional deadlift if possible, and we're doing 12 reps. Good. Bands are really good because you're creating more tension as you lift. Normally the top of the deadlift is going to be the easiest point. 
it's not the case when you use the band. It's the hardest point, so the tension is at its greatest. It's good. So we're just over halfway. Oops. Drive up, squeeze it through. Seven. See there, Matt? Remember, we're squeezing the top in this one, and that means that you're squeezing your glutes. Nice and tall. We've got one more rep. Finish there, and rest. Guys, take a short break. We're going to repeat that. Okay, so I might lose track of uh, the reps, so I'm, I'm hoping Emma can keep count of that for me. But aim for 10 to 12 on, on each set. Okay, guys, grab a drink. I won't rest for too long. We're keeping the rep ranges a little bit higher because we don't have a, a great deal of resistance, but we're making do what we've got, okay? That would have been pretty tough with the band, especially at the top of the rep. Okay, squats. Let's go. Hold. Emma's doing really well, she's keeping the same speed for every rep. She's got four more, back nice and straight, driving through the floor. She's got three more. Good, last two. And one. Try and make sure it looks even, all right? So you're trying to create a bar, shoulders back and down, nice and tight in here, and lift. Squeeze the glutes at the top, control it down to the knee, bend the knees, tighten up again. Two, good. If you imagine you've got like oranges or newspapers or something, think of something that you can squish tight in between your armpit. Good. Tempo, Emma. So we've got four, four reps to go. Breather there. And we've got one more round of that combo. Okay? So with those two exercises, you're going to create a lot of tension in your legs. An excellent little combo with with very little equipment. So give it a shake. You want to maybe like half a minute to a minute rest before we do each, each set. Be strict, guys. Last set. If you're still with us, you're still working hard. Don't be banging through the reps. Try and complete the reps the same speed as Emma. 10 to 12 for each exercise. Last one. Let's go. Hold and push. Good.
You want your, a little note on your knees. Don't want your knees coming into the center. You want to, they want to be tracking your toes. Okay? So, keep track by the way, it's four right So if your toes are 0.5 to 1, that's, that's a, good, a good guide. Your knees should be 0.5 to 1 as well. Okay? How many, Emma? I think that's seven. Seven, we'll go with that. Eight, good job. Nine. Keep your balance on the squat as well. So if you're on the ramp, you should still be mid-foot or maybe a little bit towards the heel. Just keep that balance. Sure. Number? Eleven. Last one. Push away. Good job. Okay, now we have stand. better exercise with the stick because it's more comfortable on your fingers and your thumb but you can do the exercise without the stick and get just as much out of it. Nice and control, drive up, squeeze, keep the balance and the tempo. Come on. Five nice control. Last two. exercises okay both are going to be using bands all right we're going to use a slightly heavier band for the first exercise and a slightly lighter one for the second okay but you could use dumbbells or kettlebells for, for both okay we're just trying to give people more options with the band so hands through grip grip nice and tight okay we're going to do single leg exercises so there's going to be two rounds of this one rather than three Pop on the floor, I'm going to put the left leg in, okay, and I'm going to split stance it with my right leg. Okay, I'll show you here. So, left leg in, right leg back a little bit, heel off the floor, chest up, and I'm trying to get that sort of remaining deadlift, stiff legged deadlift posture. And then from there, I'm going to drive up and really squeeze my left glute, hold that at the top, three, two, one, two, three, two, one. So I'm overloading one leg and I'm keeping the leg straighter this time. Okay, then we're going to get band for a split squat. However, you can do this body weight. Okay, so I'll use my left leg as an example again. Underneath, up and over the shoulder, up and over the shoulder. Okay, get into your split squat position. You can either hold the band, or I would advise doing this just to make sure the band doesn't come off. And we're going through the motion here. So we're going to stick to the tempo. So it's three, two, one, hold, push up. Okay, we're coming out. Keep it nice and safe. Good, Gemma. Back in. That's it. Okay, so we're going to get each leg. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So lift, squeeze, down for three. Two, one. Lift. Eight on the right, eight on the left. And 
set and you really want to keep to that tempo of three seconds down challenge yourself a little bit more Grip, swap sides, okay? Don't go too far back with your foot. And lift, you're really focusing on this, this hip here, the left hand side of this exercise here. Hips back, head forward, to keep balance. Shoulders, okay. That. Make sure the band is in the centre of the foot. It's not going to slip out anywhere. Up and over. That can help since I'm here. Up and over. Arms out. Split stance. And away we go. Hold the button. Drive up. So three seconds down. Three, two, one. Hold and lift. Eight each leg. Good. You can do this yourself. I just I don't have confidence that Emma's not going to ping herself in the face, which is why I'm hanging about helping here. On you go. Hold and drive up. Good. You want to make this harder, then make this a Bulgarian split squat and get the back foot on top of bench or chair. Want to make it easier? Get rid of that band. Number ever? Good, last one. Split leg work, I'm going to keep the rest period really, really short. So I'm back in for the second round. We're only doing two rounds. If you want though, pause it, do a third round for before the next two exercises. Okay, so make sure this is flat, core, core and tight. Hips back, you're hinging from the hip, hold, pull and squeeze. Good. You still want to be keeping tension here, like you were in the deadlift in the first couple of exercises. Okay. Come on, I'll keep that leg a little bit straighter. Tension will go off at the bottom. It gets harder as you lift. Control it on the way down. Don't let the band ping. One more.
Good. What we'll do for the, the second set of this exercise is we'll give you the dumbbell option. Okay. So if you have got dumbbells or weights or kettlebells or any weight of any kind, you don't have to use a band, you can use the weights. So same position, same exercise, three, two, one, hold, push up. Four legs. Remember, guys, we're aiming for eight reps per leg, per side. Hold, push. Don't let the heel come off too more. Up, last one. Okay, well done. Rest in. Guys, we're going to create a hack squat using a foam roller. So this is, if you have a foam roller, this is what we can do. It's a little hack on a hack squat, okay? That was very funny, but let's throw it in. You need a wall as well, okay? If you can't do this exercise, you don't have this bit of kit, wall squat, okay? For those of you who maybe think, what's a wall squat? Wall squat is just sitting in that position, 90 degrees, and holding, and not moving. Okay? So we'll move this out of the way. Everyone's going to pass me those dumbbells. We're going to place the foam roller on the bottom of your back, so the lower back. We're going to come out one step each foot. You'll know if you've not stepped far enough because your heel will be coming off the floor. We're going to sit nice and straight down until the roller gets up to your shoulder blades, which is roughly when your hips will be below the knees. And we're just working up and down in a straight line. We're going to do this to a 2-0-2-0 tempo, two down, two up. Okay? So Emma, if you want to grab them. For a little bit. Back nice and straight. 12 reps. Let's go. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Good. So back nice and straight. Kind of mimicking a little bit. A bit like the hack squat or the sissy squat. The more the hack squat, there's a little bit more movement there. Six. Halfway. The foam roller is just sitting nicely in there. If it starts to twist and move, we can stop and reset it. Eight. We've got four left. Good. If you've got a stability ball, you can do the same exercise. Two left. Good. Pop, pop, pop. One more, Emma. And rest. Take a breather. Good guys, so you're going to feel that a lot in the quads. Something we're going to do for the hamstrings. So, Emma can get a rest while I'm demonstrating this. We've got a band out again. Turn alternative, if you don't have a band, is kettlebell swings or using the dumbbell for the swing. Okay? We want something fast paced. So, it's going to go inside my left foot, we're going to place it on the floor, step on it. Okay, not too wide. Pull it back and hook it over that left foot again. So it's hooked over the left foot twice 
and the right foot is inside. Okay. Then we're going to pick up the top part of the band and take a kettlebell swing. Okay, we're going to work for 15 reps. So there's no tempo in this, we're keeping it quite fast paced. I'll show you that again. So in the left foot, right foot on top. Pull it across, back in the left foot, and then I was going to use that as her weight, her resistance. Okay? So we're back, working from the hips, but faster. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And it's a similar speed and shape to the kettlebell swing. Squeeze out the glutes. Nine, ten. 11, good, 3 more, good, and rest, good, well done, take a quick rest, and we'll go back into those, ok guys, so the video is not super long, we'll show you 2 rounds of this combination, but just pause it, do your third round, get that third round in there, okay? It wasn't for the fact we're trying to keep the videos to a certain amount of time, so we throw a third one in there as well, okay? Emma's delighted at that. <laughs> right, in again. there. Leaving. Good. Right, back nice and straight. Let your knees come over your, your foot, all right? Don't worry if, you're, if your knees are way across your toes, probably because you've got very big femurs in comparison to the bottom part of your leg. The key thing is your heel is on the ground, all right? The, the heel must stay on the floor. If your heel's rising, move out a little bit. Emma, keep count. We'll go for 15. Think about thrusting the hips. Good. Right, up, squeeze through. Up, squeeze through. Good. Good posture, good rhythm. Two exercises. So pause it, get our round in. You pause it, back, good. Right, I'll show you the last two exercises. You probably would prefer to have a softer surface than what we've got, like a mat in the grass inside on the carpet or whatever. But we'll just we'll just do it here. Okay, so we're gonna be flat on the floor. Nice and tight, 30 seconds. Okay? Then she's going to pop her toes up and she's going to walk out all the way out really slowly. Hold, slowly bring it back, keeping her toes up, heels down, not letting her hips sink. And she's going to do this for three reps. Nice and easy. Not letting her bump to the floor, working her hamstrings from the knee. 
keeping that bum up. Once she's done three, she repeats the bridge for 30 seconds. She does another three reps, she does that for three reps. Okay, and that's the workout complete. Alright, so a little bit extra on glutes and hamstrings. So, Emma, in the position. This piece of this way? Yeah, nice and flat. Okay, right, bridge up, hold. She's going to hold this for 30 seconds. I'll just keep an eye on the clock. Squeeze the glutes, press the heels down. You've got 15 seconds. Okay, toes up. Start crawling out, just one little step at a time. Marching the heels into the ground. And hold for a second, pull it back. Good, so you've got to do that for three reps. Hold that top position for a second, that's good. One more time. And hold. Pulling back with the hamstrings and then hold for 30. Get that bridge position again, okay? Relax your breathing. Think about tilting the pelvis back towards your face. It might help flatten the lower back a little bit and then bring more emphasis on the glutes. But don't let those glutes drop down to the floor. It's good, so we've got 10 seconds. You feel that, Emma? No, no, no. This is the final thing. This is the final thing you got to do. Crawl out. Three reps. Go. Welcome to my world. I've been doing hit sessions for the last week. One. Come on. Bring it back. Come on, Em. Everyone's relying on you getting this third rep. Let's go. Good. Bring it back. Hold it, 30 seconds. Oh, no way. Come on, get that bum up. Okay, get the bum up now, come on. Hold. So she's got 20 seconds left. Hopefully you didn't all just drop to the floor. Come on, Emma. You gotta go out and back one more. I can't. You can. I can't, you're gonna 10 have seconds. To, you're gonna have to finish this. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't. You can, come on. Right, go, crawl out. Go. Don't go as far. Bring it back from there. Good. One. Bring it back. Good. Two. One more. And rest. Well done. Good job. You were making that look so easy until about 30 minutes in. 30 minutes? Oh, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Well, you did really, really well. I think we'll all agree that she, she did exceptionally well. Showed us good technique and posture for the exercise. Oh. Hopefully, you learned a few things there, guys. You got a few ideas. You used a foam roller, a broomstick, some bands, and then you know some light dumbbells. And did, was that a good workout? Yeah, really good. Thank you. Good. So, guys, get doing that workout. Hit the legs. Photos, videos, comments below. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Oh.